Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness and your many blessings, Lord. We appreciate you. Thank you, Lord. You are our refuge, our strength. There is nobody like you, and we just give you praise and glory, hallelujah. Thank God for you. Welcome to Artesian Christian Center, a place where we are flowing in the very favor of God. As you come on, please like and share. Please like and share. I hope everyone can hear me okay. Please come on, please like and share. Come on in, everybody, and just, just for this Bible study of Artesian Christian Center. Again, we're a place where we're flowing in the very favor of God. Looking unto Him, the author and finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. We give God praise. Come on, like and share. Come on on, everybody. Thank God for each and every one of you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's a beautiful day. We thank you, Lord, that the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart, we thank you, Lord, that it will be acceptable in thy sight. O oh, Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Today is the day. It's a beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for being with us in this Bible study. We thank you, God, for speaking through my vocal cords and thinking through my mind. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, Lord, let it be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Hallelujah. Come on, saints. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. God is a refuge for our soul. Hallelujah. Come on, as you come on, like and share. God bless you, Sister Joanne. God bless you, Pastor Edwards. God bless everyone that's coming on right now. Hallelujah. If I see you come on my feet, I want to acknowledge you because I appreciate you so much. Hallelujah. God is a very present help. Hallelujah. Glory. God is a present help. As we listen to the beautiful sound of a uh, song that's it's, it's been around for a long time. Barbara Ward and the uh, 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 the Wagner Alumni Choir. Amen. It's been this. God is our refuge. God is our strength. God is. Ah. Uh, He's our everything, and we just appreciate him so much for being present. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on. I want y'all to just come on as we will be um, for our Bible study today. We are going to, um, I think it's going to be a good Bible study um, for what we have planned today. Amen. I um, We know we've been on this beautiful kick of um, the benefit of study and knowing the truth. And, you know, that can cover so many, many things. Uh, the benefit of study and knowing the truth. And when you think about the different subjects and the different things that we have to, you know, it's very, pretty broad um, and it covers a lot of things. Um, God is great and God is good. As we prepare for this just let this this little song meditate as I worship as I praise right now God is a refuge for our soul hallelujah saying sister Ward hallelujah God is a refuge for our soul I want you to know that today he's a present help in the time of trouble 
Hallelujah. God is a present help. He's there to strengthen you. He's there to bring you through. Hallelujah. That's a beautiful psalm. Psalm 46. Hallelujah. Refuge for my soul. If you're standing in need and you don't know which way to go. In God, you have a hiding place. God is a refuge. Oh, let that be our worship, our praise today. God is a refuge. He's a refuge. He's, he's, a, he's a refuge for us. So we used to sing that um, as on our concerts. We adopted that song. It's one of our main songs. From We borrowed it from Sister Barbara Ward Farmer and the alumni singers. And we did the Wagner Alumni Choir, and we sung that song. I heard her sing it in person at Lee Hall Auditorium. And it touched me, and it just I just took that song as my own. And it's gotten me through a lot of things, you know. Sometimes when you're going through and you don't know what, sometimes all you have is a song. And this song just happened to be a song. And that song just means that God is a refuge. He's a refuge. He's a refuge for my soul. He's a very present help in the time. I hope y'all can hear that. I hope I don't. It's not. It's about as loud as it can go. But I hope y'all enjoy that. Amen. God is a very present help in the time. In whatever you need, He's a present help. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Come on in, everybody. Amen. I ask again that you like and share. Let them know that it is seven. Uh, it's in the seven o'clock hour, and we are all about um, getting this show, this 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 study on the road. You know, I was getting ready to say something that you know people say, but I'm want to say that we are getting ready to 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 dig into this word and to um allow god to touch us today today has been a beautiful day in the lord god is great and god is good he's ever present taking care of us and watching over us and i thank god for each and every one of you thank god for your prayer the prayer of the righteous it avails much amen and uh some of you have been praying for us some of you have been really keeping us um you know in in your hearts in and in, in your you know and we thank god for that amen and so um just um allow the lord to um to continue to amen i'm trying to what i'm trying to do is being able to follow along and see the um the, the, you know, the comments as they roll along because we like to have an interactive Bible study. We want to be sort of interactive if you want to ask questions as you go along, if you want to, you know, but we thank God for you. Amen. So we, we, we where we're going to study today and where we're going today, we're going to talk about wisdom. Wisdom is the, is the word of the day. Wisdom. Wisdom. And how and why wisdom is important and the benefit of knowing what wisdom is there for. And, um, um, and I want us to turn to Second Chronicles. Um, the uh, Where we're going with this today, turn with me to Second, like I said again, Second Chronicles, the, um, see what this let me do it. I'm trying to do it myself, but it's Second Chronicles, the um, the left, the first chapter of Second Chronicles, and let's see the first chapter of Second Chronicles. We're gonna start there. We got we got a few places to go, but we're gonna start there. The first chapter, um, first chapter of second chronicles that's right if those anybody got that the first chapter of second chronicles go ahead and um second chronicles the first chapter uh, second chronicles one I, got, I think i got that can put that in the in there and and let's see i hope y'all can see that i hope it's come second chronicles one and um we just we want to start there um you all know, as I know, those of you who are 
you 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 you've been in church for a while and you've studied the Bible for a while. Um, you you often hear um, wisdom being talked about quite a bit. Um, but you know, wisdom in everyday life is important. Li wisdom across the board, not just in spiritual things, but wisdom just in life in general can be a great benefit. And so we're going to really dig into wisdom today and, 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 and what that means and the benefit of wisdom, the benefit of having wisdom and, and why wisdom is important and why we should seek after it and um, how to get it if we don't have it, if we need it. Um, and so we want to dig into this. Um, and as we look here, Solomon um, was David's son. We know that David was a mighty um, warrior. But he was a man after God's own heart. And he was a mighty warrior. David was. And David had many kids. But all of them, even though they were his children, all of them weren't to succeed him after his passing. That went to Solomon, who was the child of David and Bathsheba. And as we read in the first verse, it says, Solomon, son of David. I'm reading from the um, new and uh, the new uh, living translation. Like I told y'all before, I really like that. The NLT, um, new living translation. I just like the way it reads. It, it's an easy flow. and um, and But we are referenced back and forth. But it says, Solomon, son of David, took firm control of his kingdom. For the Lord his God was with him and made him very powerful. You hear that? That's, so, that's the first the chapter of Second Chronicles, and this is how it opens up. This, you know, Chronicles, as we all know, is a historical book. Um, so we we gleam a lot um, from reading the history, and I like to go back, to go forward, to go back in order to go forward. And it says Solomon, son of David, took firm control of his kingdom, for the Lord his God was with him, and made him very powerful, and. Y'all need to put a pin in that where it says the Lord God was with him. Um, that right there is so crucial, having the Lord with you. You know, Pastor has been um, speaking on, and we thank God for Pastor Edwards. Amen. We thank God for him, and we thank God for him joining us in, in short order. Hopefully he'll get here um, in time to add value to this um, Bible study. But again, we thank God for each and every one of you. If you're coming on, if I can't see you, I do thank God for you. And as you come on, please like and share. Amen. Let it go out. Let this word go out. That, you know, you sharing is, is so crucial for helping us spread the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. And we thank you for that. And so um, God was with him. You know, whatever we do. And whatever things we take up and whatever happens, it's so crucial that that simple thing, make sure the Lord is with you. Hallelujah. Making sure God is with you. And this is what I love the way this starts off. And it says, for God was with him and made him, God did, made him very powerful. That's a foundation that leaders are to take on upon themselves today that God being with you God with you God for you Emmanuel God with us he is the source of the greatest power there is and so if you just go and and for the sake of time and I just want to read because it, it, it gets a little lengthy I want to go to the seventh verse it's the seventh verse, one and seven. And it says, Solomon, it says, that night, 
God appeared to Solomon and said, What do you want? Ask and I will give it to you. Now, I want y'all to think about this right here. Just think about this kind of thing. You know, Solomon had, you know, he was he was the one that was deemed to build the temple. David wanted to do it, but um, God said your hand, you know, it was blood upon your hand so that you can't do it. You're going to leave that to your successor. God bless you, Dr. Montgomery. Um, Crawford, thank God for you. Um, and all those who've come, like I said, if I can't see you, if I know you, I, 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 it doesn't come in my feed, but I do thank God for you. I see the little bubbles pop, popping up, and I do praise God for each and every one of you that's taken the time to join us. And so it's so great that it says God asked him because he had, you know, built the temple and he had done what God did, uh, and he had made this uh, and was getting ready to uh, 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 dedicate and do what he had to do. And But this thing, he says, that night God appeared to him. And he said, so, and he said unto him, what do you want? Ask, and I will give it. God, the creator, maker of all things, asked the questions, what do you want? asking Solomon, what is it that you want? Ask, and I will give it. What a request. If you consider right now, if God was, if he were to just, just the straight way, ask you a simple, someone who can uh, 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 give you whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you want. He can meet your desires. He's better, you know, we all used to watch um, Aladdin and all those other kind of things when we were children, you know, when the genie would pop out the bottom and he said, you get three wishes. And, and you know, you, with any three wishes, anything you could ask, you know, he said, don't squander your wish because you, you can get any, you know, three wishes. But this was even greater than that. God bless you, Pastor Pritchett. This was even greater than that. He said, he asked, God appeared to Solomon, and God asked him, tonight we're talking about wisdom. For everyone that's tuning in, tonight we're talking about wisdom. That's where we're going with it tonight. And he's asking, and, and, and the Lord is visiting Solomon, and he's getting uh, 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 ready to 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 listen to what he has to say. And he said, Solomon replied to God, you showed great and faithful love to David, my father. This is verse eight. And now you have made me king in his place. Oh Lord God, please continue to keep your promise to David, my father. For you have made me king over a people numerous as the dust of of the earth give me the wisdom give and knowledge to lead them properly for who could possibly govern this great people of yours and I think King James puts it this way this so great a people and listen to God's response and this is this is a nugget our whole subject is the, the benefit of study and knowing the truth, right? And so tonight we're dealing with wisdom, okay? And so in verse 11, it says, And God said to Solomon, Now, you got, y'all, y'all, this, this, this thing is good. He said, Because your greatest desire is to help your people. Listen, and you did not ask for wealth riches, fame, or even the death of your enemies or long life. But rather you asked wisdom and knowledge to properly govern my people. Verse 12 says, I will certainly give you the wisdom and knowledge you requested. <laughs> but listen, over and above that, 
I will give you wealth, riches, and fame such as no king has had before you or will ever have in the future. Then Solomon returned to Jerusalem from the tabernacle at the place of worship in Gibeon, and he reigned over Israel. And we're going to go back and we're going to, where we're going to get our foundation from is wisdom. Out of all the things that this man could ask for, he had the wherewithal, the sense of mind, what he asked for was wisdom. Wisdom. And because wisdom, it touched God to, to hear that. He said, because what you did was such an unselfish kind of thing. It was not all about you, but it was about your, about my people about your people. It touched you you got to make let's pull this nugget out of scripture. I want you 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 know the Bible as I've told y'all on many occasions. The Bible is full of what not to do, what to do. It get you pull these principles out. But you can look at and to know God is to know his word. To know God's word is to know him. And you're going to understand and know how God moves. You get into the word and see how he's moved through the historical aspects of his word for those that have written about him. For those that of those of us who are, like my friend Larry say, paper Bible safe, you know, we, we, we're, we're in this paper Bible and you know what I'm saying. You enter this word and you, 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 you accept the word as your standard bearer. If you accept the word as your map, your road map, if those are that accept the word. I mean, a lot of us have what we call uh, 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 extra biblical things that we read and research in and go forth in and thank God for it. But for this canon of scripture that we've been, we've been given as our guide, as our foundational. And I thank God that we learn how to read things in context, uh, the historical context. We can read it in the spiritual context. We can understand what it is that God is, is, is saying. But we want to pick up this principle of the, the, the mind of God by listening at how when he asked Solomon a question that could have gone in, that Solomon could have answered any kind of way. And God, who's all knowing and all, you know, all, you know who the God that he is. But there's something about Solomon's because he, one thing God has given us, he's given us free will. Yes. Yes. God has given us free will. He's a God that can make us do just about anything. But he's a God that will ask us a question. He was a God that he will give us, allow us the point to make a choice as a human. You know, and you go all the way back to when he was there with Joshua. He said, I put you, you know, Joshua told the people, hey, I put before you life and death. I, I, it is before you. I, there's life and there's death. Now you choose, but I'm going to give you a, a hint. Choose life that you and your children may live. You know what I'm saying? But he gives us the choice. He, he allows us choice. Which is a whole lot different than, you know, uh, 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 we're not robots. We, you know, God want us to love him because we want to. We want us to serve him because we want to. Not because he's making us, but because we want to love him. Who wants a relationship, you know, that somebody got a whole, a, 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 a bottle over your head and you going to love me, baby, baby, you going to love me. If otherwise, I'm going to knock you in the head or, or, you know, you're being forced to do something. What good is that? But when you love somebody because you freely, you, 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 you love them, you've grown to love them, you love them just because of who they are, just because of that. There's such a refreshment to that. You know, uh, um, uh, uh, your husband, your wife, or, or, or your significant person has come to you, and uh, your children or something, they come and they, just, and they just do something just not because they're made, but be just because, you know, they just love you just for being you. Not because it was, that's something that makes you feel so special. And I think there was something about when God sit there. And, you know, Solomon, and he asked Solomon this very profound question. What do you want? 
and for all the things that you could answer. Anything, he said, you just ask me and I will give it to you. That's what the Lord says. You say, whatever you want now, you ask and I will give it to you. To me, that meant that was a whole golden platter that the, the keys to, to, to the golden key to so much. But the response of Solomon was what opened the door. Thank God for each and every one of you. As you come on, please like and share. But he said this. He said, I want the wisdom to do the job right. Because I've been put over this so great a people. And I don't want to play with this. So you give me the wisdom and the knowledge so that I might lead your people. Sounds simple, doesn't it? But, it, but that response opened a mighty door. That door. That door opened, it is like it opened up to levels of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like if you think and let's make a deal, that's the door. <laughs> you pick the right one. Let's go in here. Let's see. Because what is it? He said, because what you could have asked, this is God talking, and I'm repeating what the word says. You could have asked me for anything. You could have asked me for wealth. I mean, he was already a king's son. I'm sure there was still a, a, a level of wealth, right? God bless you. My, my my chief motivator, Sister Kelly, God bless you. Love you, dear. Um, he could have he could have asked God for wealth, more wealth. Um, David had enemies, the Philistines and different ones that were out there, just you know, just a lot of folk. You know, David was a fighter, so there was plenty of enemies that were still left in in his wake. He could have said, you know, just destroy everyone that's ever threatened us or everyone that ever. He could have asked that. Right? He could have been selfish, very selfish, and, and could have asked, you know, for long life. You know? All of these things. He could have said anything. But you, but, but key in on what he asked for. That was the golden key to everything. And it not only unlocked stuff for him, it unlocked what God, the rest of what God had. He said, wisdom and knowledge to lead these so great a people. And it got to God so that so much and so not only will you get this wisdom, you're in knowledge, but you're also that comes along with it is going to be wealth, riches and fame such as no other king has ever known. Wisdom. And we want to look at wisdom just to, uh, we're going to get how powerful wisdom is. And I, we, we, this will probably be a two-part uh, Bible study as it relates to wisdom. Because we want to dig into it and how, first of all, knowing what wisdom is. And then how we acquire it. And how we allow it to work in our lives, right? Knowing what wisdom is, right? How we acquire it and how we allow it to work in our life, right? And it's it's really the 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 thing that we want to sort of look at and underline. He said, wisdom and knowledge. You know, I've heard people, there are some working definitions of wisdom that's out there. And I, and I want to touch on some of the little working, um, uh, uh, the, the, some of the ones that, that I've seen out there. And I want to see where we want to go with uh, uh, a working definition for wisdom and, 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 and go with that. Okay, because it, it can go, but we try to find out what's working. Somebody says it's the skillful use of knowledge, the skillful application of knowledge, the 
you know, um, to any situation. Um, and so I want y'all to just let's look at uh, uh, wisdom as this. And let's see, uh, this is uh, uh, the, the, let's say the um, denotation, um, the dictionary definition of of wisdom, that's just a secular definition of wisdom. It says, it is the ability to think, act, using knowledge, experience, understanding, cons and you know, I, I really want to be able to uh, uh, put that in so so that we can put that in, I'm going to see, can I put it in the chat? in a way that makes sense to you all. I'm gonna see, can I do that so that you all can write it down. I'm gonna see, does it, um, can I do that? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try uh, wisdom. And I'm gonna put it in the chat so that y'all can see that and hopefully that it, that it makes sense um, to you all. I put, I tried to put it in there, I hope it comes through. It's, it's quite, it's quite lengthy. But I want y'all to look at that word, that definition. It's the ability to think, act, using knowledge, experience, understanding, common sense, and insight, right? Wisdom is associated with the attributes such as unbiased judgment, compassion, exper experiential self-knowledge, self-transcendence, and non-attachment, and virtues such as ethics and benevolence, okay? And that that's just, that's the denotation or the or the dictionary um, definition of wisdom and now we can see what is what we call the practical uh, definition of wisdom that just makes it um, um, and it, and I heard one someone put it and I whenever pastor get in because he has a, a definition of wisdom I'm gonna you know that I like I like that he uses and whenever he gets here and I'm going to um, have him give it but there's a a practical definition of wisdom and it's the the right way to do the right thing <laughs> the right way to do the right thing how about that the right way to do the right thing <laughs> The right way to do that's just the practical i gave you that in the in the uh, uh and i i hope you all let me, let me type that in there as well but you see the right because we're, we're in bible study we're in bible study so i hope you all are picking this up the right way to do the right thing right that's that that's what i say is our practical definition the right way to do the right thing but it's so interesting that as the word of God says, and we look over in Proverbs, there's a part of Proverbs that says, uh, uh, and I want you to look at this. It's, it's, in, it's in Proverbs 4 and 7. Proverbs 4 and 7. Okay? And, and, and um, the King James Version puts it this way. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Okay? Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, in all thy getting, get understanding. But we're going to unlock getting this wisdom and getting it the way God wants us to have it. It's going to unlock some things. It's going to unlock some things of life for us. Remember our whole study is the benefit of study and knowing the truth. And knowing the truth on how to obtain wisdom, knowing the truth about wisdom, and knowing the truth of what wisdom can do for us. As, hallelujah, thank you God. You, you, you think about this, knowing wisdom and getting wisdom and seeking God for it, what it can do. So right now we're establishing that physical, that's, hey, Pastor hey, Edwards. How you doing? God bless you. Isn't it always right. a beautiful thing to see Pastor Edwards amen, make it amen. in? Hallelujah. Thank God for you, Pastor Edwards. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. It's so good to see you. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, as you know, we're talking about wisdom, right? And we're talking about the benefit 
of wisdom as, as within the study of the benefit of knowing the truth, but benefit of study and knowing the truth. And today, we're the next, probably the next two Bible, this Bible study, next Bible study, we're going to be digging into wisdom mm. and, 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 and how wisdom can open doors for us. And not only open just regular, the spiritual doors, it's open natural doors. You know, based upon, as we see, even, even with as Solomon, just for him asking it of God and God saying, because you didn't ask for all this other stuff, but mm -hmm. you went to the principal thing, which was wisdom. Because it tells us in Proverbs, which was written by Solomon, it says wisdom is the principal thing. Yes. He had a right to say that because he knew no, having wisdom unlocked a whole bunch of doors. Having wisdom laid the foundation for a lot of great things. But you think it is just going to do it for him? No, this is a principle. This is a principle in the Word of God. Get wisdom, and it's going to do, and it's going to unlock some things for us. Have an understanding about it as we work our way through this. Pastor, I think you have a um, um, a, a, a working definition of wisdom. Yeah, I do. Can you give it to us? And you can greet us. Oh, yeah. Hello, everyone. How are you, everybody doing? Thank God for you. Yeah, we thank God for our wonderful teacher today. We appreciate her. And uh, we thank God for, for everything you've done. For he's done and what he's doing for us. Because he's a good God. And, uh, and um, <clears throat> from my understanding, wisdom is a skillful use of knowledge understanding for getting you know wisdom is a skillful use of knowledge and understanding and and and, and i and i thank god that 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 because what you know matters but how you apply it also matters the, it's a skillful use and right application mm -hmm. of knowledge and understanding That's you right. know some people you sometimes you can know a thing you know uh, and not know what to do with it, right? That's right. If you can, you can have a certain level of knowledge about something, but not knowing how to apply oh, it. Or when to? Uh, apply when it. to? Ooh. Yeah. It's the, the, the not the wisdom of knowing the what, the when, the why, the how. Because everything. And the where. Because everything can be the said. The what, the when. But it's the but it's the but it's the way you say it, and when you say it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because everything can be said. Everything can be said. But it's how you say it and when you say it. And in the right application. I thank God, you know, because he's such a good God. Such a loving and kind, wonderful God. And and, and we need that everyday wisdom to deal with everyday things. I thank God for our young people that they grow in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on how to deal with life every day. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. It's, it's more than... Than, than 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 being the 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 the, the strongest or, or being the best it, it, because see when you have wisdom knowledge understanding working and skillfully using it you there's 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 you're basically almost un, unstoppable because because one thing is that one thing that 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 wisdom knowledge understanding gives you if, if one door closes you you, you 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 keep going. You keep going. It, it doesn't matter about who who what closes or who don't close because you know within your heart that 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 you can get what you need and what you want because God loves you. God cares for you. She sure does. It's all yeah. about God. There is um there's so many verses in the Bible as it relates to wisdom and you find quite a few of them in Proverbs and even at the very beginning of Proverbs, Proverbs 2 and 6, it says, For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Mm -hmm. The Lord gives it. And it's so important that we say how to inquire and what it is. If we look at James, um, and this is one of the things that we talked about, um, James 1 and 5. James 1 and 5. If you turn to James 1 and 5. We're talking about wisdom today. We're going to unlock some things for anybody that's interested in um, really moving forward, moving moving your life up to another level. Is really gaining a good grasp on what wisdom is and what wisdom is all about, and allowing it to uh, 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 just really work in you. And as we see in James, and we're hitting a high scripture, 
But if we look at James, uh, the book of James, and it's the first chapter and the fifth verse. Pastor, you want to read out your what you have, and I'm going to read it out. Reading from the NIV, if any of you like wisdom, you should ask God, mm -hmm. who giveth generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Hmm. Without finding fault. Glory to God. And I, I like this reading. Um, uh, this reading is in, in the, uh, the New Living Translation. It reads, if you need wisdom, ask our generous God, and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. But when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver, for a person with divided loyalty is an unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. Amen. Now, this is James talking. But he says, if any of you need wisdom, and I found out I need wisdom, Pastor Edwards. I found out I need wisdom in a whole different, because there were some situations I went into without seeking the wisdom of God, without having it and applying the, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, you know, I need your wisdom, knowledge, and your understanding. Because as it says in Proverbs 4 and 7, wisdom is the principal thing. Get wisdom, get knowledge, but in all thy getting, get understanding. Praise God. Hallelujah. And having that principle use and grasp of wisdom and that we go to God just as Solomon, uh, uh, God with the open ended prayer said, ask me anything and I'll do it for you. And what Solomon, Solomon had the wherewithal to say, tell you what, you give me wisdom and it's the whole treasure chest. That's right. Pastor Edwards, it, you give me wisdom, and it's the whole treasure chest. Mm -hmm. It is everything that God has with the wisdom. Mm -hmm. Because with wisdom, it helps you to un even understand your enemies. Mm -hmm. It helps you to understand the movement of your, and the mindset of your enemies. So he didn't have to ask God to uh, 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 kill all his enemies. Why? Because having wisdom given him a, a to showed him how to even interact with them. That's right. Shows you how to enter, how to deal with any situation that comes up. That's why it's never good to be reactive, but responsive That's in right. when when you when you come up against something. Come on, we're talking about ways that we're gonna lift our life and we're gonna open doors. We're opening the treasure chest of what God has for us by 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 getting wisdom. And, and, and it says in James, this verse in James, it says, if any man like it, if you find yourself coming up short, if you find yourself, he said, if any man like wisdom, ask of God. That's right. Ask, and, 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 and this New Living Translation says, ask a generous God. That's right. Ooh. And, and see, and see. Glory to God. Wisdom comes by experience. Listen, wisdom comes by experience. And sometimes... You may not know a thing and know, know how to deal with something, but you, somebody else has been through that same thing that you've, you're to trying God. to deal Glory with. Glory to God. Glory to Ask God. Ask them. God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. If, 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 if you see someone that, that that's, that's, uh, have a child similar to yours or, or have a situation similar to yours, and, 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 and sometimes uh, uh, ask them, you say, well, well, how do you deal with this? Or how do you deal with that? You know, ask them. In, in, in private, but, 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 but the thing is, is that you learn by others' experience also. Oh, glory to God. Because wisdom comes by just sometimes just listening to someone else on what they have done and how they have, have done it. Oh, <laughs> how glory they to God. They be, 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 or not. Be, be, because, because one thing about it is that, is that the, 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 the older we get, the better we should be. You heard it said, the older we get, the better we should be. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because we, 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 we know more today than we did yesterday. We should know more today than we did 20 years ago. We should, we should know more today than we did 40 years ago. We should know more today and how to deal with things today better. Better. 
As you all come on, please like and share. Please like and share. Is it? And please be interactive. This is interactive. We talk about wisdom. I hope y'all sucking this up because this is the thing that I think that's going to open the door for a lot of people utilizing the wisdom of God. Ask. You know, sometimes we think we know it all already. You know, sometimes we think we we got it all together. But you know what? It, it, it's. It, I have to pause every day. Father God, I thank you for giving me the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to 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 do my from even on in the in 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 my in the in the big world. You know, just not just in spiritual things, being here in church, but even in my business. You know, I, I thank you for wisdom on what to do, how to interact with the people. I have to interact, the words to say, how to say them, and what to say. Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, we, we just can't go out there, guns are blazing, and just, you know, there's sometimes there's a way that you have to deal with people. God already knows the person. Some things that, you know, sometimes it's, you have to, sometimes you have to go humble in order to get some things. Sometimes God may say, you may need to be a little aggressive in this situation, but having the wisdom of God makes all the difference in the world. And I read for you in um, James, still in the book of James, and it says the verse, um, and it's quite a few scriptures, and we have to go back and I'm, I put them in, but it says, look, listen at this, um, James 317, James 317. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure. And as you all come on, please like and share. Please, as you peep in, please like and share. Because we're talking about wisdom, the benefit of study and knowing the truth. And today's subject is, is all about wisdom. But it says in this new and uh new living translation, verse 17, 37, John, James 317. It says, But the wisdom from above is first of all pure. But the wisdom from above, from who? From above. Where is above? When we think above, we're thinking spiritual. We're thinking from the Lord. We're thinking horizontal. We're thinking from above. He said, but the wisdom from above, the wisdom that comes down from God, the wisdom that is imparted to us, the wisdom that we're asking for, the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is also pure. It is also peace loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. Mm. Mm. And it says, verse 18, I'm just going to do that for a good context. It says, and those who are peacemakers will plant seeds of peace and reap a harvest of righteousness. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. I'm letting y'all know right now, those of you who are peace, peacemakers from your heart, who those, the Bible, uh, Jesus said it in the Beatitudes, blessed are the peacemakers. Hallelujah. So you're blessed to be a peacemaker. But as we think of wisdom and, and going back to the word of wisdom, you say, but the wisdom from above is first of all pure. First of all, it's 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 it's, it's unadulterated. First of all, it's it it, it is the uh, 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 the of the of the essence of from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's think about what we're talking about. Think about what we're saying. Proverbs 16, 16, which is one of my favorite scriptures, Psalms, and I mean Proverbs, um, it says, how much better to get wisdom than gold, to get insight rather than silver. Mm -hmm. you, you, when we start digging in this, we find out that the golden key is not actually gold. Mm -hmm. It's wisdom. Because what it does is it opens up the avenue. As we go all the way back to when Chronicles, when he said, God said, because you asked for wisdom, you weren't selfish, you need, you knew what you needed, then I'm going to tell you what else is going to come with it. That's right. Wealth and riches and fame is going to come with the skillful application of knowledge and understanding for what you do I'm, and you that you get from me, that which is pure. That's right. The essence of me. Glory to God. Pastor... Well, you, you have to use wisdom in everything. Everything got to use wisdom. Got to use understanding. Uh, you have to know. You have to have to have knowledge because you have to deal with life every day. And for instance, on, on relationships, you got to know how to use wisdom. That's why some relationships don't last. Some some relationships do last. You got to know how to deal with people. Uh, uh, um, um, we have to know how to to handle and, and deal with. The the uh, our 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 uh, our friends our 
our, our, our family members, uh, our, our spouses, um, um, our, 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 our uh, co-workers. We got to know how to deal with life. And, 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 and the thing is, is that you have to have that in you. Pastor said something earlier that's very important. He was saying about sometimes it is, it is you know, if you don't know a thing, God speaks through many different ways. We say, we say God, the wisdom that comes from God. God, you know, that godly wisdom, someone else, you've utilized it and they've utilized it in their interaction and watching them and how they've done and asking and not being afraid to ask questions in the counsel of many. There is safety in That's the counsel right. of many. But in, 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 in Proverbs, the 13th chapter, and I want you to see what it says. Proverbs 13, 10. It says, pride leads to conflict. Mm. Those who take advice are wise. See that? Wise. A wise person is a person full of wisdom. A wise person is a person who utilizes wisdom. A wise person. It said, pride leads to conflict. Sometimes when you think we, we got it together and think we know it and think we approach it a thing. But if you, God would have us to be, uh, 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 to utilize wisdom and be wise by listening to sound advice. We talk about opening the door and growing here. For all those that's coming in, peeping on, and would come back later. This Bible study is a Bible study that, you know, uh, 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 is going to be the difference and going to be life changing for some. Yes. It's going to be 13 and what? 10. Did you want to read that coming out of um, the a New International? Oh, where there is strife, there is pride. But wisdom is founded in those who take advice. See that? That's Hallelujah. what you were saying. Glory to God. I want you to look at, um, we're talking about what wisdom will do for you. And let's look at Proverbs 19 and 8. Proverbs 19 and 8. Proverbs 19 and 8. I know, you know, I'm a little bit more generally, I'm, you know how, 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 how I am, the lively I am. But tonight we're just, we're talking about wisdom. And we're just, we're really teaching it and trying to get the importance of it because it's going to changing for me and change for you. What is open up for me, if any man likes wisdom, we ask God. And it's so important that when James said that if any man like it, which lets them know that there are some people that you, that, that, that you're not up to par when it comes to wisdom. But he's saying, but I got, I got a solution. You ask a generous God who's not selfish about it. Who's not, who will upbraid not I mean he's not going to hold it against you because you ask him for it because you realize you, don't have, you come to him and you ask him for it and he will give it to you generously amen and as we look at 19 and 8 verse 19 and 8 say to acquire wisdom is to love yourself that's New Living Translation, verse 19 and 8. He says, to acquire wisdom is to love yourself. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, love thy neighbor as thyself. That you have to love yourself first before you can really love me like you're supposed to. If you don't love you, then you really can't love me. Amen. You have to really love you. That's not that's not being selfish. Just to learn how to love you and love you properly because you're going to want the best for self then you can effectively love me. And so here in 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 verse 8 it says to acquire wisdom is to love yourself. People who cherish understanding will do what? Prosper. That's right. That's verse that's 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 Proverbs 19 and 8. Prosperity comes with wisdom. New living translation. New living translation. Prosperity. Y'all need to say that. Prosperity comes with wisdom. Mm -hmm. What? Prosperity comes with wisdom. Mm -hmm. That's right. Glory. I'm telling you, God is, God is, you all, we all stepping into this, this plane of really getting a grasp of what wisdom is. It's going it's opening doors for you. It's opening, it's, it's opening up a whole new level for us. Step into this, uh, into this wisdom lane. Step into this. We thought we knew all about it, but we're going to uh, 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 go a little bit more into it. 
Glory to God. Pastor Glory. Burst, Pastor Pritchett, God bless you. Listen to this. To acquire wisdom is to love yourself. Amen. That's New Living Translation. Pastor, what does yours say? The one who gets wisdom loves life. The one who cherishes understanding will, will soon, soon prosper. prosper. Hallelujah. Thank God. Let the process begin. Praise Thank God. God. Let the process begin. Mm -hmm. Sometimes wisdom will tell you, hush your mouth. Mm -hmm. You don't have to say everything that comes to your mind in, your, in a particular situation. Yes. Sometimes you don't have to respond right back to the text. Sometimes right. you have to respond right back to the, the phone call. Sometimes it's you sometimes it it sometimes you just have to stand still and see the salvation Amen. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Wisdom. Wisdom, just sometimes just taking a moment to seek the wisdom of God, just in a, say, Lord, I thank you for leading and guiding me, mm -hmm. giving me direction in this matter. Mm -hmm. Before you move, God, before you move, seek the wisdom of God. Pastor Edwards, hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for our teacher today. We appreciate her for, 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 for she is, she is, uh, a dynamic and wonderful anointed teaching woman of God and we thank God for her uh, thank God for 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 her uh, um, um, a zeal and knowledge and understanding do wisdom knowledge and understanding it deals with with us it's not a thought need to be said at the time because God is such a good God yes. and, 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 and and I thank God that you'll know how and learn how learn how to deal with people every day because you're going to deal with them Hallelujah. all different colors all different shapes all different sizes Hallelujah. and i thank god for wisdom and knowledge, understanding on how to deal with my body on, on how to how to keep me healthy keep my immune system healthy keep 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 me spiritually healthy Amen. physically healthy hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, 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 this healthy in every way and we thank god for, for that, we thank God for, for you listening today, and let us pray. Father God, we thank you, we praise you, we magnify you. Thank you, Lord, for this everything you've done that you're doing for us. Thank you, Father, for giving us that wisdom yes, that pass all understanding. understanding. All oh, we understand. thank you, God, for, 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 for giving us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to deal with life and life and issues, wisdom. to deal with everyday situation, God. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord, for, for how you bless your people, how you bless, how you touch them right down, God, in the name of Jesus, that, that they have the wisdom and understanding to, to know that, that you are with them, that you are for them. Those that are with you, you're with them. Oh, hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord, for being with us because we want to be with you. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you for living in us. Thank you, Lord, for, for making your home in us. Thank you, Lord, for giving us your spirit, your power. Thank you, Father, for everything you've done that you're doing for us in the glorious name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for those that have given today. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord, for this time of, of giving, this time of, uh, of, of, of sharing. We thank you, Father, for those that have given today, Lord, uh, electronically. Thank you, Lord, for those the, the checks that came in the mail. We thank you, Father, for, for this everything you've done. Yes, thank God. you, Lord, for the ones that just drop it by. Oh, yes, Father, God. we thank you, Lord, for blessing them with the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on how to deal with life and life issues yes, and how to deal with the finances yes, and the wealth of this world. Yes, and you stand with you pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank God for your announcements. Praise God. We thank God for Pastor Edwards' and wonderful prayer. Um, we're dealing with wisdom and we want you all to please um, let's do our study on wisdom because I honestly believe we're going to have some testimonies that come forth of how God is going, you know, that just this is here for us, but just our going into it is going to make a difference, going to make a difference uh, in your life, in our lives, period. Just And I know I, I, I thank God for it. Hallelujah. I thank God for it. He's great and he's good, and I thank God for our friends and pastors, our fellow pastors, our fellow yokemen in the Lord for joining us, those who 
if, if I saw you, if I didn't get a chance to see if you peeped in, peeped out. But we thank God for you. God bless you and keep you. Know that we appreciate you so very much. Amen. Our prayers are with um, our sister, our, our mother church, actually, down there in Tallahassee, Florida. They're getting ready to open on the third Sunday. Hallelujah. I talked to Bishop Matt today, mm. Macmillan today, and he's excited about it. Hey, man, I know y'all just going to shout for me, Kelly. Y'all going to shout, shout, shout. I just know y'all going to have a time talking Hallelujah. about a good time. Glory. And the church never really closed because Pastor kept the prayer line going. Amen. He prayed every morning. Um, but they are going in formally on Sunday. So we are going to be praying for them and thanking God for this a glorious time. If we weren't having church here, I'd probably try to run down there and run around with y'all. But, but we'll be running in the spirit. But we Glory. thank God for you. Um, y'all, please don't forget us. Keep um, keep in touch. Amen. You know, see about us. But we love y'all and we appreciate y'all. But our prayers thank are God for, you. for a very successful opening. Okay? We thank God for a very successful opening for you all. Um, but um, also, Sunday at 1045, we have our regular service here. It's the third Sunday. Pastor, we look forward to him speaking the word of God. Glory, and glory. Hallelujah. The saints of God hallelujah. are here, going to be coming in the building. And those that will be joining live, we thank God for you all. Come on in. Come on in. Don't forget us. God bless you and keep you as our earnest prayer. We love you. Thank God for you. Amen. 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 We thank God. Thank God for for everything that He's done. And he's doing for us. We we thank God for for um, um, uh, my uh, my wife. She has a, a, a ten million dollar smile. We thank God for her. <laughs> so sweet. Uh, she, he's so he's he's a good God. I thank God for her. Say, Lord, Lord, we thank you, we thank you for the victory, for the victory, through our Lord and Savior, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, victory over sin, victory over sin, victory over sickness, victory over, sickness, victory over anything, anything that's not like that's you. Not like thank you. you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for forgiving for me, for forgiving me, for saving me, saving me for filling me, filling me with your Holy, with Spirit. Your Holy Spirit. In Jesus', Jesus name, name, Amen, Amen, Amen. 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 God loves you, you, you and especially, especially you. Hallelujah! You. You have an awesome and wonderful week now. Awesome and wonderful week. Expect God. God. Expect God. Thank God for his wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for the